We have all seen the verified smart contracts on Block Explorers. But if you were wondering that how you can verify your own smart contracts, then this is the video for you. In this video, we will see four methods to verify our smart contract codes. The first one will be via Etherscan. The second one will be via Remix IDE. Third will be via Hardhat. And the fourth method will be via Foundry. So without any ado, let's jump into it. The first method would be via the Etherscan user interface. We will be doing that for Sepolia testnet. So let's say that we have a simple smart contract. This is an example of uh, ERC20 simple smart contract. The first step would be to compile the contract. Then the second step would be to deploy it. We are deploying it on the Sepolia testnet. Okay, once the contract is deployed, let's look at the contract in Etherscan. As you can see, the contract is not verified. We can only see the bytecode. To verify the smart contract, let's go back to Remix and File Explorer. Because this Solidity code has an import statement, we will have to flatten this file. So right click and click on flatten. Go to the flatten file, copy the entire code, go back to Etherscan, click on verify and publish. And over here, we'll have to select a compiler type. It will be Solidity single file, compiler version. Let's look at the compiler version in the Remix IDE. It was 0.8.26. So let's select that version. And then let's select the license. Our contract was MIT license. So we'll select MIT license, click on continue, and then paste the flattened code over here. And once the Cloudflare check is successful, just click on verify and publish. It will take some time to generate the code and match it with the bytecode. And once it's done, you'll see this message successfully generated bytecode and ABI for the smart contract. And now when you go to the smart contract window, you will see that the smart contract is indeed verified and you can also see the smart contract code along with ABI and contract creation code along with bytecode. So this was the first method. The second method is via Remix IDE itself. So let's change the contract code a little bit so that we are making sure that we are deploying a different contract. So let's compile it again. And for this, what you will need is the Etherscan plugin for Remix IDE. And you will also need Etherscan API key. For that, you'll have to go to Etherscan mainnet, log into your profile, and click on API keys. From there, you can get an API key token, which you can add to your Etherscan plugin. And once that's done, just go to the plugin, select the network, which it will fetch directly from deploy and run transactions section, and then select the contract name. So our contract name is my token. Then you'll have to add the contract address. So for that, we'll have to deploy this new contract with new token name. So once it's deployed, let's copy the contract address, go to the plugin, and then paste the contract address over here, then click on verify. And once it's verified, you will see this success message, which says verification request submitted successfully. Now let's look at the contract in Etherscan. Make sure to switch to Sepolia Etherscan because we are doing this on Sepolia. So as you can see, this contract is successfully verified as well. So this was our second method of verifying our contract with Remix IDE itself. The third method will be via Hardhat. So to do that via Hardhat, what you will need is three things. You'll need the Quicknode RPC URL to deploy the contract. You'll need a private key to sign and deploy the contract. And you'll also need the Etherscan API key again. Then we have the similar smart contract for token. Let's modify this as well so that it's not same. And let's change the token symbol. Let's just call it SYM for now. And then the deployment script will look something like this, where we are just deploying the contract with the contract address once the contract is deployed successfully. So to deploy the contract, we will need to run 
this command, which is npx hard hat run scripts slash deploy js, and network will be Sepolia. So it's so deploying the contract now. The transaction is still in the pending state. And as you can see, the contract was deployed on this address. Now to verify this contract, what we will need to do is we will need to run this command npx hard hat verify network sepolia followed by our contract address. Once we run this command, we will see a success message. But since I already had verified a similar smart contract from hard hat, it's saying that the code is already verified. But let's say we had another contract, which is a simple counter smart contract and the deployment script, something like this. So now when we deploy this smart contract, and now let's try to verify this simple counter smart contract. So we will run the similar command again. npx hard at verify network sepolia followed by the contract address. So as you can see, the request to verify the contract has been successfully submitted and it's successfully verified now. So let's take a look at the contract in etherscan again. So as you can see, we have successfully verified our smart contract code. So this was the third method to verify the smart contract code using hard hat. Now the fourth method would be via Foundry. So in Foundry, we have a similar basic ERC20 smart contract a deployer script for that contract and the similar environment variable like hard hat. So let's run this first. Let's compile this to see if everything is working fine. Okay, so the compiler worked fine. Now let's deploy and verify the contract. So to deploy the contract, we are using command forge script deploy my token dot s dot sol deploy my token function. And then the RPC URL will be this, the private key will be this, broadcast the transaction and verify using etherscan API key. So let's run this command. Because we have already compiled, it says no files change, compilation skip. So as you can see, the transaction is pending. The transaction has completed and the verification has started. The contract address is this. Let's take a look at the contract address in Etherscan. So as you can see, it's not verified yet. So let's take a look at the verification status in foundry in foundry you can see submitted contract for verification and the response was okay with guid this so now if we refresh the contract it should be verified so as you can see it's verified and this is how you can verify your contract with foundry as well so in this video we saw four methods to verify your smart contract code the first one was using Etherscan graphic user interface. The second one was using Remix ID. The third one was using Hard Hat. And the fourth one was using Foundry. So hope you learned something from this video. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the Quicknode YouTube channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.